Okay, last topic for today because my voice is already getting shot. I can tell that the back-to-back podcast was whoo-wee, put in test. You have to find balance of putting enough pressure on yourself to get stuff done, but not so much that you hate everything. Exactly. Mm -hmm. For sure. So my last topic for the day is TwitchCon. TwitchCon 2018. It is hashtag 90% official that your boy, your boy, is going to TwitchCon 2018. I am very excited to go on this trip. It's in San Jose, California this year. It is at the end of October. If you are watching this video and you're going to TwitchCon, put the comment down below or let me know in chat right now live that you're going. I will see you there. Hopefully we can do something together. Hang out. Say hey. But I'm really excited to go to TwitchCon. <clears throat> I've wanted to go the past couple years. When I was out in California, I thought for sure, oh, I'm going. I'm going to be there because it was in Anaheim that year or somewhere real close by. It wasn't too bad, um, but I wanted to go. The main reason I wanted to go to TwitchCon, there's a few reasons. Number one is I want to meet cool people. I want to meet streamers that I've seen. Miss Snow White has gone a couple of years. I want to meet her. Uh, Yo Video Games, Max and the Dudes, I believe they go. I know at least Kenny goes and I believe Steve goes. I don't know if they'll go this year just because it is up north. It's about a seven-hour drive from where... Yo, video games is set up, but that hasn't stopped them before. I know they went up to uh, there was some convention in Washington area, might have been Dragon Con or PAX, but um, I'd like to meet them and then obviously, you know, meet new people. Um, but also, TwitchCon provides an opportunity to learn. I think that's the biggest reason I want to go. It's obviously other streamers all communicating figuring out hey this works hey this doesn't work try this try that do that don't do that um and i think those panels are going to be really interesting in learning hey this is how you do a mic setup hey this is how you grow your audience hey this is how you get sponsors hey this is how you do this and like obviously we're not going to put all of that into play immediately but i think hearing it from people who have experience i think that'll help for example microphones i don't know too much about them does this sound good doesn't sound good but i'm now and cameras but if i can learn more about it and apply it to the stream and make it slightly better then i think that'd be cool um so there's a lot of interesting panels i looked at the list already and i can definitely see it two or three minimum that I'm like, yeah, I want to hit it that day and go see it and learn and hopefully bring a notebook or something and learn from it. Another cool thing is I get to hang out with some cool people. Snowbike Mike from the Kind of Funny Best Friend community. He's going to be there. I believe he's bringing his squat, 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 his contingent over there. Um, we talked about during Kind of Funny Prom for a bit. He was actually talking about it and he's really stoked for it, but it's going to be more time to spend time with him um, you know, kind of bend his ear a little bit and hear what has worked on his stream and what he likes about mine, what he doesn't like, this thing. And, and also, same with his group. You know, be meet more people, get more people here, hopefully build a better community and improve that. Um, so that's the plan. End of October, go out there, have a good time, hand out the shit ton of these business cards, and, you know, hopefully get some new viewers in. We did a good job, as I mentioned uh, in episode 27 of the podcast. We did a good job of going out to California, doing the Game Over Greggy show for Kind of Funny, and improving our reach and our spectrum and you know trying to increase our audience. Obviously, that was one way, and it's not a way everybody can do, but it was a good tool to do for us, and it helped push the channel a little bit. I want to keep the ball rolling, and I think TwitchCon is a way to do it. TwitchCon is definitely, there's a lot of people there. It's going to be more heavily on me to be able to promote myself. And that involves a social aspect, which I need to work on. But I think it's a challenge that I'm ready to face. And I think this is a time to do it. Um, even if it's five people, if we can get five more cool people, that's a start. The more cool people we have, the more cool people talk, the more people are vocal, then it happens. The channel grows off positive energy positive makes positive if we want a positive growth i need to put a positive output in there it's not just going to happen on its own so i feel like this is the next step to doing that what's the next step after that i don't know but if i'm putting in the effort then the results will happen if i'm just sitting here waiting for it 
then not so much. So does that sound like a marketing ploy? Of course, because it kind of is. But I'm also going to have a good time. So it's that balance that we just talked about time management. Go for business, promote yourself, but also have some fun. Just meet some new cool people. Be genuine about it. Don't be an asshole and have a secondary motive. If they decide to check out the stream and watch it, that's awesome. Cool. If they don't want to, that is okay too. They have their own lives that they're doing stuff. Everybody's busy. Do what you can. If you want to watch the content, awesome. Watch the content. If you don't want to watch the content, that's great. If you think I'm a great person, cool. If you think I'm an asshole, guess what? I am. No, I'm just kidding. That's fine too. Do what is right for you. Not everybody's going to connect with it, but if we can get some new people here, then I think that's awesome. So I need to put that effort forward, and I think this is the next step for us to do that. So once again, TwitchCon 2018 is coming up October 26th through the 28th. You can go out there. You can meet me. You can meet Snow, Bike, Mike. You can meet all other cool people. If you want to go to TwitchCon, you should go to TwitchCon. If you can go next year, cool, go next year. I'm going to try my best to go as many years as I want, as I can. I was really close to going last year. I almost had the guys too, but then things fell through. I would love, love, love for that to be the meet and greet spot for our small community or whatever it is. So, TwitchCon 2018, this is the first step. If we can go to 19, if we can bring the squad, then let's do that. One step at a time, Brett. Don't plan too far ahead. But that's our goal. So TwitchCon 2018, we're going. We're going to crush it. That, ladies and gentlemen, is going to wrap up this episode of the Wait, What Are We Talking About podcast, episode 28. My name is Brett, a.k.a. Enigma9011. Thank you guys for watching. If you're watching live, I appreciate you. You can do that, too, by going over to twitch.tv slash Enigma9011 every first and third Saturday of the month, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you didn't watch it live and you're watching over on YouTube.com, search Enigma9011. That is okay as well. You can watch the topics broken out one video at a time, or you can watch one giant video with all the topics included remember guys this twitch no sorry this podcast episode is, is brought to you by the merch store you can find that link down below check that out you can get all your enigma 911 swag t-shirts backpacks mugs not cups and more you can check that out um, any support is appreciated um, if you have any topics for the show, remember you can comment them down below in the YouTube comments, or you can join us on Discord, and you can type those in over there on that chat channel. Until next time, guys, I hope you have a good one. Thank you for watching. Take care.